let's talk about muscle soreness and dissociation. Now, I'm not talking about muscle soreness from dissociation. I'm talking about how engaging in practices that make your muscles sore can help if you are somebody who regularly dissociates, struggles with depersonalization. And this is because anytime we feel a sensation in our body, it invites us back to be present with our body. So if you are somebody who struggles with dissociation in any form, I want to invite you to maybe try engaging in just a short strength training practice, whether that is just five minutes of bicep curls or body weight squats to get your muscles just a little bit sore to use that soreness to call you back into your body. Now, no, if you're ever sore for more than 48 hours, you went too hard, scale it back. It doesn't take much. It might take a little experimenting to find the right dose of movement to invite just a little bit of soreness into your body as a practice of inviting you back into communication and into your body, even for just a moment. I'm Amanda, a neuroscience and trauma-informed anxiety and depression coach, and for more body-based somatic practices for anxiety and depression, like and follow.